Howard Green joins us now with the sports, and you have a very interesting, extraordinary person to introduce us to. Some people really affect your life in a positive way, and this gentleman is definitely one of them. In this day when multi-million dollar athletes seem to take their talents for granted, it's refreshing to find someone who's an athlete in the truest sense of the word. One such athlete lives in Canton, Massachusetts. He is truly athletic and truly an extraordinary New Englander. You're looking at a future Olympian during one of his daily training sessions. Going a little bit too more deep. Stay up. 14-year-old Matt Christians already won countless gold medals at championships around the country. He's even set four national records. But it's not his times in the pool that are most impressive. It's that he's able to swim at all. We'll, we'll, go, to, uh, we'll go to the Paralympics. Matt was born without arms or legs. My mom always says to me, if you do this or you do that, and that somebody sees you in the paper, then they're going to look at their life and see that they have it so much easier than I do. And, that's, and uh, other kids who go here see me and say, oh, that kid's walking and, and stuff like that. So they look at me and they say, oh, maybe I can be like him someday. Matt trains at the Massachusetts Hospital School in Canton. Awesome. John Duddy is Matt's coach. He focuses on sports um, and things like when he, we met him first here, uh, he found his niche at the Mass Hospital School uh, with swimming and, and fitting in better here. And then with that, he's brought it outside of the, into the community and he's just blossomed. It is amazing. It's absolutely amazing to see him do this. We never would have thought that he swam and would swim, but he's doing it and he's doing it in a, in a competitive way. And it's just swimming was... came natural to him too. I mean, he. We didn't push him and uh, throw him in the water and say, you will, you know, you will swim. Uh, he just... He just did it, yeah. And then they saw him up at the hospital school and, you know, so we'd like to get into a swim meet and, you know, on the swim club. And it's just a natural progression that, that he ended up swimming competitively. But 14 years ago, things were very different. When Matt was born, Jerry and Allie realized they would have to face the most difficult challenge of their lives. It was kind of surprise, shocking, devastating because we weren't sure what he could do. And then as time went on and we saw him do the normal developmental things that children do as they grow, it, it was wonderful. It was much easier for us to see that he was really going to be fine. From the time Matt was six months old, he's been experimenting with the latest prosthetic devices. Some work better than others, but the best have been the ones Matt and his family have modified. Matt's only desire was to do the things every other kid his age did. At first when I would go out with Matthew in public, it would be very difficult because sometimes you didn't know what kind of reactions you'd get. But as time went on, I found that I would be comforting people from their reactions. Oh no, don't worry, he's fine. He's doing all the things that kids his age should be doing. These are the things I would be telling people. We don't, and I don't think Matt does, and we don't want any other people to, you know, put the pity, you know, or the feel sorry for you attitude. And, you know, because I think that that's part of why Matt is the way he is, because that's really not been um, the way we've looked at it, or most of the people that really know him. They've just treated him like a regular kid. Just a regular kid who happens to like doing regular kid stuff, like playing hoops with his little brother. Well, people who know me don't feel bad for me, and I don't feel bad for myself, but people who don't know me look at me and feel bad for me. It should come as no surprise that Matt's a pretty good athlete out of the water as well. He picked up wheelchair basketball only last year. Now he's on the team that's going to the national tournament. I got look at some of the other kids who go here, and I'm so, I, I'm so much more fortunate than them. Nothing against them, but I just know that I can do a lot more than them. And a lot of people don't look at me as handicapped once they know me. You know, every now and then I'd sit back and I'd watch, and, and I'd see that he was frustrated, but I'd say to myself, I think this is good for him. See him problem solve, see him do these things. He figures out a way to do them in a different way. And, and he gets them done, and just, I think what, we didn't do for him helped him in the long run. Well, goes one go over here. Um, goes one, the ones I got when I first started out, I went to the uh, New York State game for the physically challenged, which had blind people, 
and people like me and people in wheelchairs and deaf people and stuff like that. Right. And uh, all you had, you just swam and most of the time you got a gold medal. As time goes by, technology will help Matt's athletic endeavors. There are companies waiting for him to stop growing so they can fit him with prosthetic devices that will allow him to compete in running races as well as swimming and wheelchair basketball. Matt's on the cutting edge of technology. Proving muscle and bone don't make an athlete, heart and soul do. Well, sometimes we do take it him for granted because we grew with him. We watched him grow. And when you ask us, uh, you know, why, why us, God? I, at first that was it, but then as time went on, I was, I was like, thank you, God, for letting it be us, because it is, we're very proud parents. And the amazing thing about Matt, he said, uh, I asked him if he thinks he's a role model. He said, I'm not a role model because no one asked me for my autograph. <laughs> this 14 year old kid, he just doesn't understand that he really is a role model because he can help anybody figure out that you know what really matters he's a great kid what an inspiration and certainly the saying that you can do anything that you put your mind to yeah, he's got great support is obviously his family and the people at the Massachusetts Hospital School is uh, it's just a wonderful wonderful story it certainly is thank you very much yep.